Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, today, we're going to talk about something that is way different than our traditional copper Ethernet cable that we've been carrying up till now. In fact, uh, I almost have to cover up my name here because I'm going to be speaking for True Fiber uh, for this video. Uh, True Cable has decided uh, to address the next section of the communications cable market. We've addressed copper Ethernet. We've addressed coaxial. Now we're going to be addressing uh, another type of communications cable, fiber optic. And there's probably all kinds of people cheering and clapping out there right now. Um, just to let you know, we're going to be starting with uh, patch cords first in various lengths, various modes, multi-mode, single mode, and connectorized in various ways, like SC to LC, LC to LC, simplex, duplex, things like that. So the purpose of this video is when is copper not enough? Uh, well, chances are if you've worked with Ethernet cable for some time, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're familiar with the, the nice thick copper Ethernet cable. It's got connectors on the end, things like that. And um, the thing is the copper has been around for a long time and it's not going to go away anytime soon. But there are times when copper Ethernet cable doesn't cut the mustard anymore. And that usually comes in terms of speed or distance or more importantly, speed over distance. And that is going to be the biggest uh, factor in your decision as to whether or not to run fiber. When it comes to copper ethernet, uh, you may be aware that from powered device to powered device, you have a maximum channel length, channel length of 328 feet. That is at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and that includes patch cords as well. So, of course, there's ways to extend that. Um, you can add like a PoE powered switch in the middle of a channel and then re extend it, and that's perfectly okay to do. But at a certain point, it gets a bit unwieldy. I mean, what if you need to go 1,200 feet? I mean, you can do it, but sometimes uh, another cable type altogether would do the job better. Another thing is speed. Um, copper Ethernet, if we're talking about category 6A, is limited to 10 gigabit all the way out to its maximum uh, channel distance, which is 328 feet. In the case of even category eight, um, that's limited to 25 gigabit or 40 gigabit up to 98 feet. And then after the 98 feet, it in fact becomes more like CAT 6A again, it's back to 10 gigabit. So the CAT 8 is good for like, um, uh, equipment rooms and telecommunications rooms and in large commercial buildings where they need to run really high speed uh, between like maybe a switch and a server and uh, they don't have a way of doing it over fiber. But the, quite honestly, when you start talking about speeds above 10 gigabit, you should start thinking fiber. You should think about this as opposed to this. And which brings me to the next thing is, you know, copper is considerably thicker than fiber. I mean, this is a single uh, mode fiber right here. And as you can see, this category six patch cable is what, four times the thickness? So this stuff is a lot lighter. It's easier to install, uh, but it's more difficult to terminate uh, if it's not pre-terminated already, where copper tends to be uh, you know, much easier to terminate and it's more understood. The next thing is speed over distance. So uh, where Simp, like for example, the single mode fiber optic cable, uh, it can carry uh, 10 gigabit networking for kilometers, literally kilometers. Uh, it, or it can do, let's say, 100 gigabit up to 1,000 feet or so. So that's considerably faster than you're going to go with, uh, with your traditional copper twisted pair ethernet. So there are some significant advantages to fiber over copper depending on what you're doing. Obviously, there's some disadvantages to fiber. For example, fiber is capable of carrying data at a very high speed, but it can't do it while doing power over ethernet. So in other words, if you wanna have a remote device that's powered up like maybe lighted signage or, or a surveillance camera or an access point, uh, you can certainly get a signal over this to it, but you can't power it up because you can't transmit DC voltage over glass. It just doesn't work. So, um, so copper is gonna be with us for quite some time. It's got some applications that fiber cannot serve. Take a visit to our website, www.com.
truefiber.com, and that is a sister site you can jump to from True Cable, and uh, start taking a look. We've already uh, added some blogs in there that you can read up on the fiber, and also um, we've put in some performance differences in detail there, and I strongly recommend that you take a look and start considering fiber optic for your next, for some of your more advanced next projects. So uh, with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.